So welcome back to the channel the growing developer and in this video we're gonna learn about firebase this topic has been most requested from you and here i am with the series everything will be from scratch and you know what i haven't even created a flutter project for this so in this video we're gonna learn how we can add firebase to our flutter project both for android and both for ios if you're not even running on flutter you only want to check how you can integrate firebase in your android app or your ios app then this video is for you as well so because this configuration is irrespective of any platform like any sdk like flutter or react so let's start this video the growing developer so here we are we will be creating a new flutter project so there you go flutter application click next and your project name right now i'll be using firebase demo for this click next uh, make sure that you're using android studio i prefer using android studio because you have the option to select kotlin support and switch support for ios code and as well as click on use android x artifacts so this is the package name the company domain the growing developer.org and then the firebase demo just copy this package name so i'll be copying this package name from here and click on finish i'll just fa fast forward this okay so as you can see that the project is created and the default explorer is open this is our main dot dot file the skeleton code is written here so we're not gonna run this application right now let me show you the emulator as well so we're not gonna run this application right now so let me just increase the font size uh, i hope it is clear to you well uh, this part is not what we are concerned about in this video we'll be only concerned about the file structure and where we are going to store some files so let's quickly go to the firebase console and see how we can add the project create a new uh, create a new firebase project and add firebase in it so i've already opened the uh, google chrome window so here it is so in this window go to firebase.google.com click enter and you can see that this is the firebase website make sure that you are signed into the google account that you want so here it is i'm signed in with this email id so let's get started and now you can see that the firebase console has initialized and then you have the option to create a flutter project uh, then you have the option to create a project click on create project and then you can enter your project name so i'll write firebase yt tgd right firebase youtube the growing developer so it's totally your wish how you want uh, uh it's totally your wish how you wanna select the project name so click on continue and make sure that you have enabled google analytics why because we'll be using anything like uh, firebase messaging and for all that stuff you need the google analytics so click on continue and now you'll get a screen which is asking for you to select an account so you'll be only having this default account for firebase i've also created another uh, account so you'll click on default account for firebase click on it and click on create project it will take some minutes and after that the your project will be created So as you can see that the project is now created we will click on continue and we have opened the firebase project let's close this now you have the option to set up an android uh, android app an ios app or a web app start with android and then we'll move on to ios so click on android it is asking for your the package name so what was our package name i've already copied that package name in the first step so this is the package name okay now you want to know what is the package name or you want to know where is the package name so i'll tell you now go to your this is your project structure go to your android folder now go to your app folder and inside this app you have a build.gradle file open this and now you can see that uh, here is that application id this is the package name that we are concerned with now that's it click on register app after this step your application is registered with the firebase that is now firebase will use this package name to communicate with your application 
now it is saying that download config file so let's click on download and you can see that the file is now downloaded let's click on this show in finder and you can see that this is the file i already had one more google services file so let's copy this and i'll tell you where to paste it so you have this android folder open this android folder then you have this app folder open this app folder as well you have to paste this file right inside this app folder so you see how i'm dragging it you can either drag and drop i prefer dragging and dropping because you get more options with that so you will just click on this and drop it at this app folder right you can okay and you can see that we have the google services.json file now i have this one written here so i have to rename it make sure that the name of the file is just google services.json that's it so it is inside android and then app folder nothing more now let's move on to our chrome window and see what it expects us to do next so click on next now this these are the steps to add the firebase sdk the actual code which will communicate with the servers at the back end so let's see project level build gradle what does this project level means now this is your project if you click on android everything inside this is project level so this build.gradle file is our project level gradle file and if you click on app you have the another build.gradle file so this gradle file is our app level gradle file so let's open this project level gradle file and let's see what it does and now let's see what we have to add so it is saying in build script add repositories as google and then add dependencies we add this we'll copy this stuff from here because this google is automatically added and here also this google is automatically added by flutter so we are only concerned with this class path here so you see in this repository section google is already there and in all project section as well google is already there inside this dependencies section after this just paste it so this is the class path so i have copied this class path from here and pasted it inside this now next thing is app level build.gradle file which is inside our app module so this is our app module and inside this app module this is our build gradle file so this is our app level file now let's see what we have to add first of all we have to add this line apply a plugin not this line this is already added so we'll just copy this file and you can see that we have this apply plugin so after this just paste it here you can either paste it in at the end or after this apply plugin lines so after this we have dependencies and inside the dependency section we have to add this line just copy this now this is the sdk for your google analytics that we just enabled so we'll just copy this here and in the dependency section scroll down you have this dependency section after this just paste it let's see what all we have done we have already uh, done we have added all the configuration lines that we needed that said nothing else need to be done so if you click on next now it is saying checking if the app has communicated with our servers you may need to uninstall and reinstall your application leave it here go to your flutter project and just run it i'll not be uh, i'll not be skipping this part i'll just fast forward it so that you can see that it is what it is So the, app, uh, so the app is installed and it is now opening we'll quickly go to this and see if it has communicated with the servers or not let's see just wait for some time and the app is still loading let it load so the app is loaded and if you check here let's wait for some time it will take some time to confirm that we have connected with the firebase services or not so 
congratulations you have successfully added firebase to your application right so that's it we have all uh, we have added firebase and now we our android application is able to communicate with firebase servers continue to console and that's it our android setup is complete so now let's move on to our ios application setup so we'll click on add app click on ios and we'll ask for ios bundle id the bundle id is exactly same as what was for our android because we are using flutter so the same bundle id is being served for both android as well as ios so it will be org dot the growing developer dot firebase demo that's it click on register application and it will take some time and after that you have the download config file click on it so it will download the plist file in uh, in android we have dot json file and in ios we have dot plist file so let's click on it and see where it is so so you can see that i have this plist file here so there is a different procedure for this click on xcode and here you go open another project this is our Firebase demo project. Open your iOS and click on this. Just click on open. Now you can see that this project is now open. You can see that this is our bundle uh, identifier. So this is our plist file. This is our project structure for those who are using uh, or so for those who are already using iOS, so they might be familiar with the structure. So this is the project explorer that we'll get and we'll just drag this plist file and paste it inside this, inside this runner folder, below this info.plist file. Click it and click on this runner and click finish. See, that's why I used Xcode because it is now adding all to the target. If you will copy this uh, just simply, so it will not uh, you know, work. So click on finish and you can see that this google service info.plist file is being added just below this info.plist file. If you don't know where to paste it just look for info.plist file and that's it that's the exact folder we want to paste it. And I guess that's it just close this close this as well. We'll now we'll just stop this application here and let's see what else we need to do. So let's open the google chrome and click on next now it is saying to add firebase sdk use coca ports to install and manage dependencies so what you need to do is you have to init a pod file and then inside that you have to paste it so how to do this let's see open up your terminal see this is my firebase demo project you can see that this is firebase demo we'll go to ios folder cd ios right we went to the ios folder and after that we'll write pod in it just click enter and hookup ports is now initialized in our flutter project these are just warning you can ignore them next thing you have to add this to our pod file now let's see where is it so we'll go to our ios folder this is our folder this is our pod file you can see that if you open this pod file you have all this thing now we'll just copy all this stuff and add it here that you have added the firebase analytics pod so now next thing we need to do is just close this file and write pod install so it will install the firebase analytics sdk click on next and now you can see that it will start analyzing dependencies and all the firebase dependencies are being installed in your flutter project and these are just some warnings and now that's it done you have added firebase to your and uh, ios application right so next thing next add initialization code so you have to import this firebase and then you have to add this where to do this let's see you have this runner inside this runner you have this app delegate.swift open this and you can see that all the import statements and other statements are there okay this import firebase 
and just after this paste it that's it we have imported firebase and next thing is to add this line firebase app dot configure we'll just copy this and before this return statement before this return statement we'll just write this firebase app dot configure no need of semicolons so because this is swift so you can just check with this like it is with dot swift extension so we are using the swift code if it is with dot c extension then you'll be using this objective c so that's it we'll close this application and now we'll run it for our iphone 11 pro max you can see that i've opened this simulator here and let's click on run and see if it works or not meanwhile let's click on next and now it is checking if the application has communicated with our servers or not so let's see this so i'm not going to skip this step you can see what it is so let's see and how many seconds it take i'll be just fast forwarding this So as you can see that now the application has started on our iPhone and now let's see if it is able to communicate with the servers or not. So yes, it will take some time for sure. Our fault and my computer had to restart for some reason. I have sent the report to the Apple store. So till then, uh, like i couldn't complete the setup due to this so i can show you one more thing like uh, open up your xcode and here it is click on your firebase demo project and let's run it from here uh, sometimes the firebase servers does not detect that we have connected with them so for that i'll just show you that we have actually connected with the firebase services so Let's wait for it to be uh, completely installed. So this was the previous application that I installed. So it is now uh, installing a new one. So let's wait for it. And build succeeded launching runner. So now the application is now starting and just look at this console here. Just look at the output that you're gonna get here so let's see and now you are getting some kind of stack, tra uh, stack trace so you can see that firebase analytics and again firebase screen reporting enabled and then firebase analytics so yes we are sending some data to the firebase analytics to analyze our application so that means that uh, we are able to connect through uh, firebase and one more thing if the firebase configuration was not properly done then the i then the app itself would, uh, would not have been installed on our device so yes so you can see that the, we have this dknm as app measurement uh, firebase analytics so yes we have successfully installed firebase on our ios device as well but this is still uh, telling you that if the app has communicated with our servers or not so you can just skip this step uh, this is not uh, at all uh, mandatory so here also you can see that it is still asking for continue sdk setup so no worries we are able to communicate through the firebase and in the next video we'll learn how we can sign in through firebase and what are all the steps that are needed to sign in without any errors so that's all for today. Hope you like this video. Hope you learn something from this video. And this will be a long series where I'll cover each and every aspect of Firebase, the real-time database, the cloud Firestore, cloud messaging, the notification services, as well as the Google sign-in and authentication. So that's all. Hope you like this video. Hope you learn something from this video. Keep watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. That's all for today. Goodbye. Have a nice day.